five years of experience, they are earning something around two hundred thousand dollars per year. This is Saurav. He got a remote job, but with a unique process that no one knows about. In this video, he reveals exactly how he got his remote job. Sit in front of my computer at twelve pm and I share what I learned in the last three years. He also shares a step-by-step -step process if you want to get a remote job. I wrote an article using Amp, which I got nearly thousand claps on Medium. This video will answer these three questions. How to contribute to open source? You have to make a difference by contributing a big thing. How to grow an audience on Twitter? I was posting content daily. I was doing it like this. And more importantly, how to get a remote job? Watch this video completely and share with me your thoughts in the comments below. I am Sanskar and you're watching the Sanskar Show. So, first of all, before we dive into pros and cons and everything, tell me about how did you get your remote job? So, this story started when I was a college student. I took admission to B.T.E.C. Computer Science in 2017. I knew that there was an open source event that was called Activafest and which I contributed to a very good t-shirt. So, what do you want to do with a college student? I got a little bit of work and I got a t-shirt. So, when I contributed to an open source event in 2018, for the very first time, and for a t-shirt obviously and but ये कहानी वही नहीं होती मैंने जब पहली बार contribute किया था मुझे git के बारे में पता लगा मुझे github के बारे में पता लगा मुझे ये पता लगा कि open source होता क्या है actual में और मैंने उसको explore करना चालू किया मैंने काफी projects को explore किया मैंने contribute किया बहुत projects में मैं community में काफी active हो गया python की community में और इस बीच में machine learning और ये सब भी सीख रहा था तो मैं tensorflow की community में भी काफी active था तो मुझे तीन साल हो गए थे ये सब करते हुए and I learned a lot of things about programming and other languages as well so at that time I started building an online audience on Twitter. So I decided to put my all of my knowledge on Twitter and started doing that thing. I was posting content daily. I was uh, I I decided at the time it was 12 p.m. at that time. I daily wake up, I had my breakfast and I just uh, sit in front of my computer at 12 p.m. and I share what I learned in the last three years. So eventually uh, it worked, it worked, people loved it a lot. I got a really nice response from the tech community on Twitter and on Twitter only I got to know about a project called Amplication which is very small and is open source. As I told you I love the community stuff, I love to help people. So I decided to contribute in that way. I wrote article, uh, I wrote an article using Amplication. At that time Amplication was a little buggy so people were facing uh, difficulties how to use it. So I created a sample app, it was a markdown blog using Amplication in the back end. So I created that and it got a really nice response. I got nearly 1000 claps on Medium and which was huge for the pro project because it was very small and I was uh, in the community of application for like four months or three months and I was uh, engaging with the community members I was helping them how to install it how to uh, do stuff using application and I was the unofficial community manager already there so after that uh, they noticed me obviously they noticed me the CEO noticed me the at that time the R&D had uh, contacted me twice or thrice uh, so we, we were in talks and uh, उस टाइम एम्पलीकेशन को फंडिंग मिलना चालू हो गया एंड दे गोट अ स्वीट फंडिंग इन अक्टूबर 2021 एंड इन नवंबर 2021 द सीईओ कांटैक्टेड मी एंड आस्क मी इफ आई वांट टू जॉइन देम एस अ कम्युनिटी मैनेजर एंड दैट्स हाउ दिस जर्नी स्टार्ट ब्रो इट सीम्स दैट योर ट्विटर ऑडियंस आल्सो हेल्प्ड यू and do you think that you already had three years of technical knowledge that somehow helped you that ki haan, jo main share kar raha, that's actually helpful for the remote job thing i if uh, i'll say my twitter audi audience uh, helped me getting that job maybe because uh, there can be a few more uh, candidates in the line who are equal to have uh, the skills that i have but i have an audience that uh, made me in the front in the line but if you say about the job uh, it really doesn't matter how many followers you have unless and until you have that those skills that is uh, that the company is looking for or you are making a difference uh, in the company and you are giving a value you cannot get a job so it's as simple as that if you are not skilled you will not get the job no amount of followers will uh, help you getting that job on the building audience yeah 
the those three years helped me a lot so yaar what does your role involve on a day to day basis and you mentioned ki ha aapke paas if you want to become a devrel wo skills hone chahiye mm-hmm. so what are those skills actually devrel is all about three c's uh code content and community uh and you have to work on all of three your role can we focus on one of them it can be community it can be code it can be content it totally depends on the program that a company wants to run in their com- uh, in, in the organization so for example for my role uh, our company has two uh, two person in devrel uh, one is uh, corely based on the code part and i am based more on the community part so uh, my role is mostly focus on the open source community or open source product of application so i have to handle the operations that uh, needed to maintain the open source community of application i run programs that makes uh, the contributors of applications lives easy to contribute to application their path easy and whatever problem they are facing in the process i i am there for uh, to solve that if there are community events i am there for them if there are community events outside like physical community events i participate in that and uh, if they need support in using the product i need that i am there for them and uh, for the skills part yep so devrel includes a part developer so developer relation so you need to be a developer you cannot be a devrel without being a dev- de- developer bro yesterday i was reading your tweet about the over hype of remote jobs in india right now so can you explain a bit more about that and what's your experience been like doing a remote job so i have seen many articles and many tweets where in india basically people from india where they over glorify the remote uh, culture and they they just say that uh, uh, there are there can be unlimited ptos you can work from anywhere and stuff yeah maybe th- this can happen but uh, let's assume uh, you you are the only uh, person from your country in an organization you are working in a startup where you are on the only indian you have no colleague in india okay so you cannot uh, interact with the people like you so you cannot make a joke that is uh, a- indian joke so you cannot even laugh on them so you you are only with your laptop whole time you you don't have a social life in your work life uh, and there is a very very fine limit between workspace and between personal space so you never know when you have to work and we when you have to stop so maybe i am bad at managing but i have talked with like 20 30 years of my uh, of devrels uh, till now who are in india uh, or who are working uh, uh, remotely they all have the same problem they feel lonely uh, they don't uh, uh, understand the difference between the uh, the line basically they don't understand the line between the work uh, timings and their personal timings and uh, yeah it's cool it's cool that you are going uh, for a seven day meet up to your team in some other country maybe in us maybe in israel maybe anywhere it's cool okay you are enjoying for seven days but rest of 358 days you are feeling alone and it's just you and your laptop facing that all so it's not like the influencer shows on uh, uh, twitter it's kind of depressing and it's very hard uh, to work in a remote culture and you have to be productive every time in those environments when a student comes in their first or second year of college obviously they go on linkedin they go on twitter and they see all these big influencers making big money and promoting all these things so if someone's in their first year of college and they have no technical knowledge how can they be involved in a community and can it actually help them i'll give you an example there is a there there is a community member in my community i when i started a event focus for first timers contributors in application he joined the community for the very first time and uh, he made his first contribution uh, first open source contribution ever to application repository and that time he got to know how to do this thing and then he go to various hackathons where he met folks who are like him and uh, who wants to participate in hackathon who wants to make a good product and uh, there he find his team and he started working on those things and you won't believe he won like uh, some 30 or 40 hackathons till now he is working in a company uh, 
in a very good company in a very good startup i would not name it and he's earning around 2000 to 2500 dollars per month now he's an engineer engineering intern and this is an intern salary and uh, after that he just got admission into college so he's he's just uh, uh, crossed the legal age of 18 and he's he's doing wonders so you don't have to listen to any influencer you don't have to listen to me you don't have to listen to any influencer you have to find out the events that works for you you have to find things uh, you have to find hackathons you have to find people in the community who you can collaborate with so community is all about collaboration find events uh, that uh, works for you that uh, gives value to you that gives something to you and where you can learn something find people collaborate with them and uh, this is how you level up your skills and uh, learn from others and it will help you a lot yeah networking is all that matters you mentioned a couple of communities yaar application app right novu so how should someone choose their community because that's also sometimes confusing ki yaar kaun se community mein contribute karu because sometimes what students do is they join all these communities and they want to contribute to all these contribute communities at once so iske bare mein kya opinion hai aapka so i always say that this is not the correct way of uh, contributing to open source if you are looking for contributing uh, i'll say you first use the product and you find the working of the product how product works how you can make it, how how the things are going on so for example if you are going to application just log in into application see what we are doing so you by by just seeing by just uh, looking what we are doing you will go through every page of the uh, application product you will go through the flow that we have generated you may be uh, uh, can be uh, expert in uh, ui ux i don't know you can be an expert in engineering so if you are very good in ui ux you will see what are the flaws that we have in our uh, in our boarding on boarding or what we have the flow flows in our ui so that that's something you uh, you should do so you should first use the product see what are the problems in the product uh, maybe your expertise can benefit us a lot so at, at this point i i am i am officially from application i am working there and i can bet you there are at least 50 ui or ux issues in application right now and we cannot fix it Uh, because we are a team of hardly 15 person and the engineering team is so small and that's why we are open source so we ask for your help go through the issue go through the product find issues open issues and then then ask us to that you want to so- solve them issues so that's how you have to approach this bro anyone who comes into tech especially indian students mostly they want to get a job right ab mostly seniors tell you ki do dsa do competitive programming make one or two projects you will get a job but in the recent years this open source has become more popular in terms of getting a job right so i want to ask you how can someone approach open source if they actually want to get a job if you are making a contribution and you are solving a issue in a readme file yeah it's okay it makes the project better but it does not show you our best skill set or best uh, uh, practice that y- you learned in la- your last few years or last few months to our repository and we have engineers better than that so you doesn't make any big difference in the op- in the project uh, of the company so you have to make a difference by contributing a big thing or maybe many contributions that uh, saves engineering effort of the company or that saves the designing effort for the company or the devrel effort for the company so you have to reduce uh, effort of the teams of the company significantly so if you are an engineer maybe you created a very big feature request that uh, the open source project is uh, and not working for for a very long time and community wants it so that's the thing that's that's something you have done very big and that's where the project owner will notice you but that's not the only case where you can get a job yeah you can get a job through that but if even if there is no job in that repository that particular pull request will act as a resume for you everywhere you go so even if you start contributing to other open source projects you have that pull request with you which you contributed to previous project so whenever you go to interview you will Uh, give them three pull request that made a very big difference to open source projects and any hiring manager will get to know that that this person knows the stuff what he is saying getting a job is not difficult but uh, you have to be skilled enough for that
फाइनली ब्रो आई वुड लव टू नो फ्रॉम यू कि हाउ मच डू यू अर्न नॉट द एग्जैक्ट नंबर यू कैन शेयर अप रेंज दैट द ऑडियंस नोज की अच्छा ओके इफ द गैट इन टू दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ अ जॉब how much they can expect for the answer of this i'll take the references i have friends in uh, which have who have some 5 years of experience they are earning something around 200000 dollars per year and other benefits i have friends with less experience they are earning something around uh, 30 50000 dollars per year so it totally depends on the num- on the years of experience and the work you are doing or the value you are providing to the company Awesome bro thank you so much for joining me here yaar for taking out time and coming to my studio i loved it man thank you so much thank you so much for having me sanskar